After all these horrible updates for Donald Trump on the investigation into the theft of classified documents, he apparently, at least it looks, tried a last minute gambit of sending his lawyers to talk with the DOJ to see if some sort of deal could be worked out. They apparently met on Monday at the Justice Department with officials including Jack Smith, the special counsel, if that's his real name. This is two weeks after they requested the meeting. You had James Trustee, John Rout, James Trustee is the guy who was doing the media rounds a couple days ago. Lindsey Halligan, they left the Justice Department after nearly two hours. So they go, they get the meeting they want. They talk to Jack Smith for two hours, then they leave. They don't talk to reporters. And so you might think, we don't know what happened. We don't know if it looked bad for Trump. We just don't have any information to go on. But that isn't technically true because while the lawyers didn't speak to reporters, Donald Trump did get on his phone really soon after that meeting. And he bleated this, this is in all caps by the way, for listening on the podcast. How can DOJ possibly charge me who did nothing wrong when no other presidents were charged, when Joe Biden won't be charged for anything, including the fact that he has 1850 boxes, much of it classified. And some dating back to his Senate day when even Democrat senators are shocked. Also, President Clinton had documents and one in court. Cricket Hillary deleted 33,000 emails, many classified, and was it even close to being charged? Charged only Trump, the greatest witch hunt of all time. Dan, does that seem like a guy who got good news in the meeting between his lawyers and the TOJ? <laughs> yeah, for those of us who have long term memory, who remember when exactly he kind of gave up the game there by reminding us when Donald Trump was going, Yeah, this is crooked Hillary, she's so crooked, how could she possibly steal classified documents and keep them for herself in a private residence? By the way, I'm gonna do this too. <laughs> but it's a witch hunt against, when I was doing the hunting for the witches, uh, that wasn't a witch hunt. <laughs> now that I'm being hunted because they found out that I'm a witch, it's a witch hunt. It's very classic projection from the Republican Party, classic projection from Donald Trump. Seems like you got some really good news. Yeah, it seems great. By the way, I'm just gonna, I just wanna mention just a couple other things he said. He goes on to say, the Marxists and fascists in the DOJ. First of all, those are <sighs> the exact, there's not the same I wish. Thing. Oh, oh that's from Marxists. a class, <laughs> like read a book. Anyway, he goes on to say, and I honestly, I love finding out about new theories that I can only assume the right has been obsessed with for a year, but I've never heard of. So in addition to the 1850 boxes of documents, that is like the place that the Ark of the Covenant is stored in. That's so many boxes. Um, and some of them in Chinatown, we were told. Uh, Joe Biden also keeps thousands of documents in many locations, some illegally taken from skiffs while he was a senator, a big portion of which were classified. He didn't want to give them back and still doesn't. That we have no evidence of any documents that have not been returned. There is no NARA asking for documents. There's no box, there's no footage of boxes being offloaded from skiffs. What are you talking about? And how the hell would he know that these documents that we don't have, have any evidence exists were classified? He is just wholesale making up all of this. And he's he's besmirching the good name of skiffs. <laughs> any final thoughts? Yeah, I mean, there was a serious conversation a while back when the FBI discovered, um, in fact, Biden's people discovered, oh wow, there are some classified documents here. Let's forfeit them immediately. There was a good conversation about, okay, are we over classifying documents? Do we should we under classify things? Maybe the public should know some of this stuff because presidents and people who work around these things seem to not treat classified as strictly as we want them to. Two differences with Trump. Uh, one, he was hiding the documents, and when they he finally gave up some of them, they kept discovering more. Second of all, he tried to cover himself up by going, "Oh no, I declassified them with my mind." <laughs> so <laughs> you can't change your story when you're guilty. <laughs> you got to stick to a story. Yeah. And by the way, look, we'll be on the lookout. If Joe Biden does really suspicious stuff, then we will note it. If his skiff sinks. And then sinks to the bottom of the ocean where it crashes into all of his computer servers. Then we will let you know about that. As of right now, his skiff seems to still be seaworthy. He really thinks anyway. his skiff don't stink. <laughs> <laughs> TV 14, baby.
For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.